My name is Agnieszka Holland. I'm a director of the film In Darkness, which tells the story of the group of uh, Lvov's Jews during the time of the Second World War, escaping during the liquidation of the Lvov ghetto to the sewers and being held by two Polish sewer workers in not always very easy way. For uh, Yolanta Dulewska, the cinematographer, Darkness was the metaphor for the Jewish destiny during the Holocaust in some way. Of course, it's theoretical, but I think it, in some way it works in this way. And um, she tried to lead Soha in different way a bit, that she is like, you have the impression that the light is coming out of him, that he is this flashlight in the, in the darkness for those people, which the real character Soha really was, because without him they will not survive longer than Same. we thought to. But Jewish characters also aren't the stereotypical Holocaust victims uh, of many films. I mean, is there a danger in portraying them as, as flawed people? Will it make it harder for the audience to identify? I personally believe that the, that the audience identif identifies with the real people and not with, you know, some saintly, you know, kitschy images. Because uh, we know who we are. We know that we have the moments of weakness. We are asking, you know, we are asking ourselves the questions when dealing with a story like that, what I will do in those circumstances. Mm -hmm. And if we are honest with ourselves, we know that we will be not always the strongest and we will be not always the most generous. And they're also having a lot of sex. <laughs> I mean, what's happening with that? Um, in the sewer. <laughs> they are having, my, my characters are having a lot of sex. In some way, it was, you know, it was the reaction to the horrors. It was the, it was the need to feel alive. It was also the need to be close as possible to another person. Also, for those young people, it was the feeling that I have to do it now because I, I, I can die tomorrow. I think that for my father, the fact that he left his family behind and they died was something extremely painful and he never talked about it. He died young. He committed suicide when I was 13, he was 41, and um, he never talked to me about, about, about his family. Uh, it was my mother who, who, who is Polish, but she was always extremely sensitive on the, on the, on the, on the, Jewish, on the Jewish experience mm -hmm. during the war. She, was, she told me that I'm Jewish and that my father is Jew and that what happened to, to my family and that I have to be proud of being Jewish and that I don't have to listen to stupid anti-Semitic talks. Well, I, you know, I, I didn't want really to go back. I, I said no when uh, David Shamun sent me the script. I read the script. I found the script and story very interesting and very different. But um, I, I just didn't feel that I want to spend another two years of my life in, in, in this reality. So my first reaction was no. After I started to, 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 to pose the conditions which I thought will be impossible to meet, for example, to shoot the movie not in English but in real languages of the story. But finally they agreed to everything, so I, you know, I was trapped in some way. But I also started to think that probably Probably the time again to try to, to come back in more real way to this reality because in, I've seen several movies lately which I found quite conventional that they've been changing into some kind of a theatrical reality without being really, I don't know, harsh or brave enough to, 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 to show the truth of that. I had the problem with the reconstruction and, and representation of the horrors. And I know that in some places where I will not go with the fictional camera, I don't know. I, I had, for example, a problem when Steven Spielberg in, in Schindler's List went with the camera to the gas chamber. Of Fic course, I, I don't know, it was like, I felt that it's some things you cannot show without, but of course it's very subjective and I, I, I think he certainly had the rights to do it, but for me it is the problem to, to show some things and also because it was several movies about the subject which been made in the last 15 years, um, 
the people got used to that, you know, they got used to those images, to those props of the of the Holocaust, to those wired, you know, wired uh, walls, to the to the and uh, skeletal body lying on the ground, to the to the things which, and suddenly I realized that the people are looking at that without emotion. During this film, I I, I, I was faced with the with the challenge to to find the images which are real and and new enough or strong enough to pass through this kind of the anesthesia.